It's time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Thank you, Jake. Well, Diego, last week at training, I asked you about your work rate and your ability to be what seems like at times everywhere on the field. Your answer was simple. You love the game. You just want to play, be involved. So got me thinking, when did you first fall in love with this sport? When did you know this was it for you? Uh, I think my first time was uh, when I was four years old. And then that uh, time I played with my other brother and my, my father at home. And uh, I think uh, that love for the, the soccer uh, starting that time. So you have two brothers, all three of you are professional soccer players. Where did this gene come from? Was your mom or dad athletes, what, relatives? I mean, to have three brothers all go on to have successful careers as professional athletes is incredible. I think that's come from my parents, right? Uh, because my mom was an uh, athlete, uh, no professional, but she loved the athlete. Uh, what like sport a, would she play? Uh, tracking. Ooh, track. Uh, yeah. That's where you get the speed. Yeah, and uh, my father, uh, he played soccer. No, like professional, but, but second played. division. And uh, after that, we started to play, uh, like when I was five years old. Started the club and get to formation. And uh, yeah, I think we are very uh, a fortunate uh, person right. because we uh, we we get to to be professional you're very very fortunate so luis felipe is your older brother he's currently playing in colombia and plays the same position as you when you watch him play do you see similarities are you guys similar on the field uh when he started uh, like professional he started um, when he was uh, uh, 18 years old, and I watched uh, his play, and it's looking si similar uh, because he's a strong player, a technique player. And, but I think I'm a little bit different because I love to enjoy the attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think between us, that is the, the, the difference. Well, your younger brother, Jimmy, loves that attack as well. and. While you may resemble Luis Felipe a little bit more on the field, you and Jimmy could be twins. It is scary how much you guys look alike. What is he like as a player? For me, he's a fantastic player uh, because uh, they have a great technique, uh, quick enough. And uh, yeah, we look similar, but we are really different, <laughs> like uh, physical and person. Uh, but yeah, Jimmy is a, a different player than us. Uh, he plays so, forward. Yeah, it's a different right. position and he's uh, a tricky player and uh, we love to uh, see him uh, playing. So you and Jimmy got to play together at Deportes Tolima for, you told me, about eight months. What was that time like? Did you enjoy getting to be on the team with your younger brother? Yeah, it was different. Uh, I feel like a familiar, uh, my family in the Deportes Tolima. And uh, we played only one game, but it was fantastic. And uh, I enjoyed the time uh, with him. Did people ever get you guys confused, call you the wrong name? Yeah, in Colombia, <laughs> always confused. The people call me uh, Jimmy, call him Diego, <laughs> and vice versa, but yeah. All right, I have the most important question I've saved for last. You and Jimmy going 1v1, would, is it more likely for him to score on you or you to steal, counter, and score on him? It's a really great question. Uh, I don't know. I think... <laughs> I'm very good in my in my work and my position, but um, I don't know. Uh, maybe one on one, yeah, maybe one on one. Yeah, maybe and then we tight. Luis Felipe, if we threw him into the mix, which side would he? Uh... No change. <laughs> yeah, uh, my older brother is a, a very good player, and I think it's no change for Jimmy. <laughs> Well, I, I really enjoyed getting to hear more about your two brothers. You guys come from such a great family and so great to have you here, Diego. Thank you so much for coming on Timbers in 30 this week. We look forward to seeing you play this weekend up at Seattle.